Hi Aries, welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, for those of you currently in a situationship, we're going to find out what's the most likely outcome of this connection. Today is the, let me see, 24th of October, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 6.59 p.m. And Aries, as usual, I'm giving away a free personal reading for a lucky winner once a week. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Aries, and it's free to subscribe. All right, Aries, um, let's get your reading started. Uh, spirits and angels, please show me for Aries in a situationship currently. How does the person feel? Oh, no. What is the outcome of this situationship? What is the most likely outcome of this situation? Wow, the devil at the bottom of the deck. Now, this situation ship could be a situation ship because of a third party situation. Because the devil could mean somebody is still hung up on someone or still connected to someone else. So it feels like a third party because we've also got the Three of Cups in reverse and the Three of Pentacles in reverse as well. So, and Two of Wands indicates a choice. Um, options, two options, one person, and I'm going to say, I'm going to use the word someone, okay, someone means it could be you or your person, so two of wands means someone has another option, right, death in reverse could indicate this is a connection that is hanging by a thread, or potentially it could be hanging by a thread because the Queen of Swords in reverse, someone is going to be resentful towards um, their person having another option, entertaining another option, or could still be hung up on someone, an ex, or it could be it could be anyone, okay? So the Seven of Swords here is in reverse, and Five of Swords in reverse, and the Three of Cups in reverse. So there is going to be someone saying that, you know, I, I was being honest with you. Or I was being honest with you that this is going to be a situationship, or that maybe there's someone else in the picture. It could be anything, but the Seven of Swords in reverse is like, okay, I, I just want to come clean with you. Either this has already been said before, or potentially it will be. And someone is going to make a decision whether to continue with this connection, with this situationship, or not. Because after all, Three of Cups in reverse, I feel like someone is not going to be willing uh, to be put in a third party situation, doesn't want to be a part of that equation. Now, it feels like the situationship would have been okay to me situationship is never okay i don't encourage uh being in a situationship because someone is going to catch feelings someone is going to you know uh feel possessive because the devil could indicate possessiveness controlling issues um and i myself would never put myself in a situationship that's because i've seen too many of my friends you know, ended up getting really, really hurt. Um, but in this case, Aries, King of Pentacles, um, your person could be a Virgo Capcom Taurus, Strong Capcom could be an Aries Sagittarius Leo, Libra Gemini Aquarius. The Queen of Swords in reverse is also somebody who gives an ultimatum, right? Um, someone is going to kind of give an ultimatum or low-key giving an ultimatum or after giving an ultimatum just don't want to talk anymore keep keep quiet until that person the other person decides whether they want to take the connection to the next level and commit or 
or not. Now, if nobody eventually wants to commit, then this connection will probably end or that there's going to be a period of time where um, there won't be any communication or could be also a very toxic communication. Okay, let's see a little bit more, Aries. Aries, make sure you subscribe. It's free to subscribe. If you want um, free personal readings from me during my live stream, make sure you hit on the uh, you hit on the bell notification button and you subscribe. Okay, because on the fifteenth of November, I'm gonna be giving free personal readings, um, so you don't want to miss that. Anyways, uh, unless if you prefer a more private reading, you can book me. All info is below. We've got the Six of Swords and Reverse, Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's this energy of like feeling really stuck. Um, someone is going to feel very stuck in this connection, even though it's unhealthy, even though it's toxic. Any situationships are unhealthy and toxic in general. And I'm not even surprised to see the devil here. So, but the problem with the devil is that even though, understandably, this is a toxic or unhealthy connection, but still want to be connected, still feel really drawn to the person, uh, still feel like tied to the person for some reason. Hence, it's going to give stress. Someone is going to feel really stressful. And six of swords in reverse. Yeah, feeling stuck. What should I do? Two of wands. It could also be someone is going to uh, make a decision. We'll have to make a decision because someone is going to be giving the other person an ultimatum could be you them or them you okay let's see a little bit more ace of swords and reverse eight of pentacles and aries for those of you who want to join the membership go ahead and uh, check it out it's only five dollars for like um to and the perks would be like four four times a month once a week free personal reading for only five dollars so so many options make sure you check in the description box below or just click join and you can see all of the options okay i mean i just kept it simple there's only one level anyways seven up pentacles so eventually someone is going to observe and need more time to think i do see like a period of time where someone may be holding grudges and doesn't really want to talk or um or being very dismissive or very Mm, passive aggressive towards the other person ace of swords and reverse and eight of pentacles i also see someone is gonna finally someone is finally gonna just decide as well someone is gonna finally decide that i'm just gonna focus on my work i don't want to talk to you okay so i do see because all the swords are in reverse so potentially there will be either a very passive aggressive kind of communication between two of you or no communication or very little communication until somebody steps up okay and we've also got the oh it's getting dark not a ones here so it looks like someone is gonna feel a little bit hurt but you know still kind of like waiting to see the outcome of this this uh situation ship empress in reverse the higher font for some of you, again, the situationship could be, you know, it's a situationship because there's a third party or somebody could be married or somebody could be still, you know, very connected to another person or to the, to an ex or it could be to anybody. But I definitely see like a third party situation, whether you know it or not, whether your person knows it or not. But if if nobody knows that then the seven of swords in reverse could mean someone will kind of come clean and say there's someone else in the picture but for most of you i think you already know the high priestess here intuition based on your intuition and the empress here is in reverse so it it also looks like aries someone could be like intuitively know that their person is still connecting with their person whom they could still be waiting for uh, to reconcile or waiting for the connection to become more stable okay that's just for some of you some of you not the ones in reverse somebody who can't really commit so i do see there's again the high priestess here a period of time where there will be silence no talking between the two of you 
because someone just doesn't really want to um, invest until somebody steps up. All right, Aries, this is your reading. I hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like the book, me all info is below. And don't don't forget the 15th of November, the free personal reading during my live stream. Take care, Aries. I hope to see you back here again soon. I love you. Bye.